what I'm thinking is that we should probably rope this section off that so that we can. Hey, hey. hey. what's up? Uh uh, look at you, so sister number one. Today we are at a sexy little venue called Sugar Hill. I'm bringing Brownstone to Atlanta. We're gonna do a reunion show, and we're gonna see where it goes. And if it goes like I think in my spirit it's gonna go, we'll be on tour. Hey. Hey. What's up? I want to share all this good news with the ladies, and what I'm hoping is that they all will come together with me in this wonderful historic moment. I wanted to kind of bring all of you here as sisters, as fellow singers. Say that again one more time. As sisters. Woo! Yes. I was thinking to myself, like, how am I really going to get back into this mm -hmm. music thing? You know, I don't feel like I'm ready to, to step out on my own at this point. So I was like, you know what? I'm putting the band back together. Ooh, I'm really, I'm really on. <laughs> you know, we trying to take it back to the, you know, we like want to do all that. Nikki, you're doing your thing, honey. You got to keep trucking, sister. Keep pushing. Got to the lot, Caroline. <laughs> so this new brownstone thing, we have to do it right. So we got to be rehearsing, practicing. These old bones is learning choreography, honey. The other part of it is Brandy and I wanted to do something together as a team. So we are going to make over 20 women in Atlanta who have either drug addiction, domestic violence, low self-esteem, you know, poverty. We thought, what better way to launch the divasandwildflowers.org than to sponsor makeovers for these women? I'm going to be the first one to say, as an R&B diva, I'm putting $100 in the pot because it's a foundation. Isn't it a foundation? Yes, but I mean... And it's a charity. Yes. Nikki, so Brownstone is performing? Yes. This is the Brownstone reunion, so we'll probably do like Grapevine if you love me. Okay. This is kind of strange for me because the last conversation that Nikki and I had, it was her doing a reunion concert with Brownstone. So is that what you're doing? You guys are doing the group thing? We got a lot more to do, and I know that we have fans that deserve it. Why should our fans be the ones to be deprived of our music because right. I'm in a place with music. And now, now it's a benefit concert or is it a, a, a fashion show? I, I don't know. What's going on here? This is where I need the, the, the love and support. I was praying that maybe you guys could do Love and Me as a finale. And if you want to do anything else, you're free. If you want to do some of your reggae stuff, you want to do some of your she is me, anything else you want to do, the stage is yours. I feel this was kind of a manipulative move on Nikki's part because it's hard to say no to someone when they say, you know, I'm doing something for charity. Coming up. My problem is we have some type of control issues going on with Nikki. Absolutely. You want to do a concert in a prom hall right. for women with real artists who sold millions of records. It's a little fraudulent. What better way to launch divasandwildflowers.org but I was praying that maybe you guys could do Loving Me as a finale. I think that this idea is amazing. I definitely would like to participate in sponsoring um, a lady. A lady. I definitely think that's awesome. But let me think about the singing thing. Well, we wouldn't be the R&B divas if one of us didn't want to sing. So what I'm saying, but, but can I say this? But can I say this too? Can I say this as as the person who is asking you to do it, Selena? For me, it's just again. I want to do something for other people, and I'm I'm still doing something. I'm kind of concerned about the, the singing concept. It's very sneaky to throw a charity in to get us all to come sing in our show together <laughs> and for free. Very sneaky, sister. And it's also something that's very fraudulent. So for me, it's deeper than just singing. Ni anything Nikki has ever asked me to do, automatic. Not so much anymore. Things are different. Rocky and I are meeting with Selena today 
just to kind of talk about the announcement that Nikki made. I'm glad you could come. Um, I called you because I just kind of wanted to talk about what happened the other day. I kind of felt a certain way. And I saw your reaction to things, and I wanted to know from you how you really felt about it. Ouch. Let me get this right. Nikki came to you and the rest of the divas and asked you guys to perform yes. on, on a show for her. And disguise it as a charity and said that she will close and she wants us to do it for free. You can't say no to a charity, but... Because it's a, it's a charity. Charity. No, the hell with the charity. I'm just saying what we just, we just trying to take what we I think that the charity idea is brilliant. For me, it's just it's a little fraudulent. I just think it's kind of an excuse to be able to put on a show when this is something that not only me and Salisha try to do, but also Angie tried to try to do. I would like for us to throw our ideas in a hat with no names attached to them. Whether it's some good stuff, some bad stuff, some crazy stuff, but I think we should all address it. What I don't mean is to come in here and put good ass excuses in a hat and this all of a sudden is gonna make it okay. The tour was terrible coming from us, and you blocked it. You tried to block it. Yeah. Like, you you were just a demon this whole time. And then you turn around and be like, oh, it's the kumbaya moment. Oh, okay, yeah, I like everybody. We're all good. Everybody's okay. I think that this is just a great way to say, hey, everybody, I got y'all. Y'all didn't do that damn tour, but I'm going to get you to do my show. And we need you to do the right thing. Charity. Well, I got a charity for all y'all, too. Mm -hmm. My problem is we have some type of control issues going on with Nick. Absolutely. I mean, this concert is being held at Phillips Arena, right? No. I'll drink. I, I will drink to that. Yes. No, I can't, I can't no, listen to that. <laughs> There's like a banquet hall. I mean, it's, it's almost like what we would do for it's the one of our nieces or nephews. It's a cute little thing. For a seventh grade prom? <laughs> It's not for kids, it's for women. That's oh, for so it's a prom for women. You gonna stick on prom? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna hold on prom? Yeah, he, he's, he's holding on to that. It's very hard to say no to a charity. You know, so I think that there's a spin put on this thing, and uh, I don't like where it's headed. I think it's headed straight. Don't say it. What? To Chuck E. Cheese. Stop it. Is this a high school event or what? High school don't even do Chuck E. Cheese. Well, damn grammar school. No, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. You want to do a concert in a prom hall right. for women with real artists who sold millions of records. Is Barney going to be there? Oh, but I heard SpongeBob was made of music. <laughs> Coming up. You know what an alcoholic is? Yeah, Ma.